one of the things I'm always charged up about is brands and, uh, and products uh, that are innovative prior to being necessary to do so. They don't stay with what is their greatest value uh, differentiation. For instance, I'm often uh, stunned, and I think too little has been written about it, on, on simple things like the, uh, the Apple iP I, uh, iPod. The original iPod, the, the wonderful thing about it was that wheel. Everyone knows the, the, the wheel around it, how it looked, how you could select uh, music and everything. And when they went to the iPhone, they abandoned that. The, the greatest single mark, the greatest single piece of technology, the thing that the brand was identified with and the user identified with went away. And they took a gamble at a totally new paradigm and they won. So they made the bet prior to being uh, taking that to the, uh, to the end and running it, running it all the way through. I think that takes uh, a great deal of sense of confidence, but it also is a great deal of understanding of the marketplace uh, in terms of risk. They could have waited until that paradigm was absolutely copied uh, and, and gone, and instead they attacked themselves with a new and better technology. You see few companies having that sense of confidence and ability.